Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another food related video. And what we're gonna do today is make some pomegranate liqueur, right? I have my pomegranates here. Okay, let me show you this. It's been a good pomegranate season. And we had this bowl all the way to the top, right? So we're down to the last little bit here. I might do another run as well to get some more pomegranates uh, this week. Hopefully they'll still be out, they'll still be good. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make pomegranate liqueur out of what we have left here approximately, okay? And um, the reason I wanna make some pomegranate liqueur because as you know, uh, a couple of months ago, if you wanna follow my work, a couple of months ago we went through and I showed you my liqueur, liquor cabinet collection where we sort of sample the different liqueurs I made. Mainly, all of them are basically fruit liqueurs, right? And what we ended up doing was making three batches, three different types of liqueur, added it to my collection. One of them was, let me show you this. One of them was the blueberry. And if you looked at the other video, I'll show you these guys more close up. Uh, if you looked at the other video, you'll know what these look like when uh, we put them together, right? And it took about a uh, couple of weeks for them to be ready, to be, uh, to be sampled, right? Uh, for the flavor to come out into the liqueur, for it to taste really nice, right? And uh, what I ended up doing, these are the three that we made, and I still haven't, as you can tell, my stickies are still uh, basically just have stickies on there. I haven't labeled everything yet. And we did sample everything and we added some sugar to some stuff and sort of, um, I didn't really combine any of the stuff, but we sampled some of the fruits and, and whatnot, right? And this is the label we made for these three. Basically, this one says cherry 2018. Uh, I used frozen cherries, one cup of sugar and half a, uh, da, 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 half a bottle of vodka, right? In this one, right so this is the cherry one and this is you know we've had a, we've had some friends i don't we don't really i don't really drink this much but we've had some gatherings potlucks and people coming over birthday and whatnot so i've been giving samples uh to a lot of friends and stuff so i'm not a lush that i go through this much stuff but it is tempting because they were amazingly delicious right so here's the here's the uh cherry liqueur right so let me pour this so you see what the color looks like okay so i want to show you this uh, before we make the pomegranate liqueur just so you know uh, the product you end up getting and it gets darker and darker as as it gets older right within two weeks i was drinking them i was sampling them okay so here's the cherry one that we made two months ago, right? So let me pour this so you see it. Okay, let me make sure you got that view. All right. I've been tasting the liqueurs, uh, the cherries as well, right? I'm sure what the cherries like too. Here's the cherry. And it slowly starts disintegrating, right? As you know, the if you watched the previous video, I have liqueur here from like 40 years ago all the way to the most recent being these ones that we made two months ago. Actually, I made another one that I'm gonna show you uh, about a month afterwards where we harvested some autumn olives, okay? So this is the cherry. You can just pop it and it's, uh, it's really nice, right? And this is what the liqueur looks like right now with the color after two months, right? So we basically filled up this jar with cherries, added one cup of sugar and added vodka, half a, cup, half a bottle of vodka, 26 syrup, right? And that's exactly what we're gonna do with the pomegranates. So let me just taste this again, why not? That is phenomenal. Cherry liqueur is absolutely amazing. Really. Okay. 
So let's put this one back. Now you let me know what it looks like, right? Another one that we ended up making. And at some point I'll make legit labels for these, right? Another one we ended up making, and I've been sampling this like mad. Okay, the strawberry one, take a look, right? It came out phenomenal, really. I've never made strawberry liqueur before. I don't know why. I just assumed because it was uh, strawberries, you know, disintegrate uh, quite rapidly when you make jam and stuff like this, unless you add some, uh, what's it called? Uh, talc, is it talc? Uh, it's just lime, basically, to keep the strawberries together. I just assumed it would sort of disintegrate a little bit, but this thing came off phenomenal. I was actually, the strawberries, because strawberries are soft, the flavor, the liqueur, the uh, vodka, the alcohol had taken on the flavor within a week. So I sampled these within a week and the strawberry was already starting to taste really delicious, right? Take a look. And I might add, as you can tell, is there any more? There's no sugar left in it. So it all got dissolved. Okay. And people have been asking me on the previous video, uh, how long does it take for the, you know, can you put the stuff, uh, what you make by a heater, if it's in the winter for the alcohol, for the sugar to dissolve and how long you have to put in the sun. For me, I kept these in the sun because it was winter and we had a couple of nice sunny days. I kept them in the sun um, in sort of a sunroom that we have where if you've seen the plant videos that we made uh, where I showed you guys my plant collection. We have a little sunroom where um, you know, it gets nice sun. It doesn't, during the day, if it gets sun, it gets warm. But at nighttime, because we really don't heat that room, it gets cool, right? So I just kept it there for a couple of days and most of the sugar had dissolved and brought them back here. And by the time, you know, we're two months in, it's completely dissolved, right? So let me pour this one. nice and i'll bring out one of the strawberries so you see it right so fantastic beautiful color really just amazing and i've been giving uh you know tastes of these with friends coming over and they're blown away i had a couple of friends that were like oh man i gotta make some too so this thing seriously it's amazing i'm gonna be making a lot more strawberry liqueur it's like liquid candy <laughs> really it's amazing so let me bring up one of the strawberries the strawberries took on the flavor the vodka like strong so the liqueur the liquid is like strawberry candy really uh like liquid candy strawberry liquid candy the strawberry itself is very strong uh, like really phenomenal phenomenal okay highly recommend highly recommend and the strawberries the taste of the strawberry is getting lighter and lighter initially it was much stronger right now the strawberries they're not as strong as they were the whole strawberries the fruit as uh, you know two weeks uh, two weeks after tasting it or even a month ago right month within it so it's getting uh, more gentle the flavor so if you're finding the strawberry the fruit when you're eating and when you made the liqueur a little too strong just let it sit for a while the liquid will taste seriously like sweet candy uh, and the strawberries themselves will taste uh, better with age okay that's what i'm finding out anyway uh, so it's phenomenal it's fantastic and the other one that we made was blueberry okay and this is the blueberry and the blueberry took longer for the flavor uh to settle in okay uh, a reason i don't know i guess maybe it was because the fruit is uh, not as soft as the strawberries okay let me just give my hands a little wipe let's use 
purple for blueberry. Okay, let me pour this. So you see this one as well. See the color? This is nice and dark. Oh, that's a nice, nice drink. Take a look. Beautiful, very beautiful. blueberry one amazing really these are three of the best uh well no we've got some amazing uh fruit liqueurs here right but these ones are phenomenal okay i've made blueberries before as well so i know what the blueberry tastes like and very 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 much love it okay and I do like making them sweet. You don't have to make add as much sugar as I do, okay? Um, but that's just the way I like it. I don't, I don't want to drink too much, so I make it sweet, so I drink less. It's just the flavor totally comes out for me, right? Now, since we made that video, I've made another liqueur as well. And this is, um, let me show you this. This is autumn olive, okay? If you've been following my work for a while, for a few years now, you'll know that I live in an area where there's lots of fruit trees and stuff around. And there is a couple of places that have autumn olives growing. And we've gotten permission from the people who are growing it to harvest their autumn olives. Their one tree is extremely abundant it gives a lot of autumn olives right so every year i you know i go there and harvest the autumn olives and stuff like this and we put out a video where i showed you guys how i end up eating all autumn olives and harvesting autumn olives and whatnot right and autumn olives are phenomenal they like one of the most powerful fruits uh berries that you can eat right i don't know if they're categorized as berries they must be berries right but this is what it looks like okay beautiful okay now we've tried making jam with these um, but the seeds puff up too much for the jam and I haven't tasted this yet I made this about a month ago okay so we're gonna taste it for the first time here so let's taste the autumn olive it's gonna be strong okay now I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do this over here because it's filled right up to the rim. Okay, let's put this guy here. Take a look. It's very light colored, right? And this has been sitting for about a month. Okay. So it might get darker with age, but autumn olives, they're not, uh, the color is not very strong on them, right? So let me taste this. Actually, before we taste it, let me cleanse my palates with water. Very interesting. Wow. Very interesting. Very, very earthy feel to it. It could be because, uh, as you can tell, here, let me put the lid back on it so I don't do spillage accidentally. And let me show you. This is a clean spoon, right? Never put the same spoon in your mouth into different things so I got a bunch of cutlery here that I'm using right so let me show you what the autumn olive looks like this is what the autumn olive looks like okay uh, we eat these a lot during harvest time for we harvest it and for a couple of weeks they keep for a couple of weeks in the fridge we just you know put it out and we eat it just like this right Crazy strong. This is going to be for um, when we need a kicker, right? 
Nice drink though, nice drink. And it has the stems on the back of the, uh, just on the autumn olives, right? So there's a little bit of pulp in there. So when I chew them, you just spit out the, the stems on it, right? Now, the reason I want to make the pomegranate liqueur is because I want to make a lot of pomegranate liqueur because I'm going to show you, like, if you take a look at this, this is, this is the jar we had of the strawberries, blueberries, and, uh, uh, and the cherries, right? This is the jar we're going to make of the pomegranates. So about double the size, right? And the reason we're going to do that is I made a little jar of the pomegranate liqueur about a month ago. And it tastes fantastic, right? And that's the reason I want to make a big jar. So if you're thinking about making liqueur out of something and you're not 100 percent sure what it's going to taste like or what not, and you don't want to use up all your resources, just make a little one, right? And this is, you can see the pomegranates in there. And this is fantastic because the little pomegranate seeds come out. And as you know, I love pomegranates. Pomegranates are absolutely phenomenal. We've got a whole playlist on my channel of how to eat pomegranates, how to harvest pomegranates, how to break down pomegranates, how to make pomegranate salad dressing, and how to mix pomegranates with your cereals or eat it with your yogurt or whatnot, right? And one other thing we've now added to our pomegranate repertoire, I guess, is pomegranate liqueur. And take a look at this, right? Let's pour this in here. And you get the little seeds coming in. And the color on this is amazing, amazing. And it tastes phenomenal, really, really. Smells fantastic. So good, All right? There's a seed sticking in there. So when you drink it, you get seeds coming in as well, which is sort of different than the rest of the liqueurs we make, right? Very good. Very good. So after making this, that was the reason why we're going to make a big one. Okay. So let's make our pomegranate liqueur. And the recipe is easy, simple. Okay. We're just going to add the fruit, the pomegranates in there. Okay. Let's bring this jar out close. <coughs> and am I going to use this spoon or I want to use another spoon? Actually, I'm going to use the smaller spoon that I have here. Or a medium-sized spoon, I guess, that I have here. That way I can just put them all in. And uh, I am gonna add one cup of sugar to this, okay? That should be enough. And later on, I think this week, we're gonna go and get ourselves some more pomegranates and this isn't going to fill up so I might come back and add more seed to this I was planning uh, on making enough pomegranate liqueur pomegranates keep enough pomegranates to fill up the jar to about this up here <laughs> but we kept on munching on the pomegranates right so we're using up our supply and we're like no 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 gotta Gotta save enough to make liqueur, right? With this batch anyway, these are really delicious pomegranates. Okay, so let's do this. All 
Our friends are loving these uh, the cures. They're like blown away uh, when they taste it. They're like, wow. Did not know it was this easy to make amazing liqueur, right? Just that simple. Let's bring out a different spoon. Get all the seeds in there. Okay, that's that. That's that. So we got this much pomegranates. And again, I'm just gonna add one cup of sugar to this. I might even add a little bit less. Ah, uh, no, we'll... Let's see, we'll add one cup and see where it goes, okay? So I basically use uh, organic uh, cane sugar, okay? So let me do this. Bring it over to you. How much is this? This is, let me give you the different measurements. This is about 150 mil, okay, 150 mil, and it's two thirds of a cup, uh, da, 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 and six ounces. So all of, you know, three different measurements there. I'm gonna add more, a little bit more. Am I? I'm gonna add a third more, I'm gonna make it a cup, okay? So third, we want to be here. Okay. A little bit more. So that's a third. A third more, so we're going to make it. It was two thirds before, and a third makes it a whole cup. Okay. So let's put that there. Put that here. Close our sugar lid. Sugar cup. And as before, um, I just use uh, use usually absolute vodka. I like it that it's very neutral, but it's you know your preference. Whatever you want to use, use in terms of vodka goes. But use vodka or gin that are not flavored. You don't want to mix the flavoring with whatever uh, liqueur you're making, right? You might want to. It's up to you. I I don't. Right? I just use straight up, just absolute vodka, and that's my personal preference. You can use anything else as, if you want as well, okay? So all we do is just pour it in, right? And I think I'm gonna use the whole bottle. And what I'm gonna do later, uh, this week, or next week, is uh, I'm gonna leave enough room to add some more pomegranates in there. Okay, so I used almost a whole bottle of uh, 26er, okay? Where did we put the lid for this? Oh, well, we'll put it, oh yeah, we'll put it over here. Nice. So I'm just leaving enough room to add more pomegranates to fill it up, right? Because I do want the flavor to take it all in. And the odds are what I'm gonna do is add more fruit possibly as we consume the liqueur and eat the seeds because with this pomegranate the one we've made this guy right when we're pouring it in just the pomegranate seeds are coming in right as you saw so it's it gives it a nice different unique flavor to it right so all i do this and i give it a shake right just get it mixing in there okay. this is what you see sort of the sugar getting in there right sort of flowing down and it usually settles down the bottom so what i'm going to do with this is take it into the sunroom that we have it's going to be sunny for the next couple of days so i'm going to leave it in there it is end of january so it is cold outside but when it does get sunny the sunroom gets heated up so during the day the temperature is high enough for it to slowly get the sugar dissolving and in a couple of weeks most of it should dissolve within the alcohol and the flavor should start coming out because that's what really happened with this one that we made within a couple of weeks the flavor was there it was very very delicious and um, 
you know, we'll take it from there. And basically, as we start drinking the alcohol, and obviously with this one, as you saw, the pomegranate seeds do come out when you pour it. So we're depleting the pomegranate, the source as well. So as that depletes and whatnot, I'll, I'll see how the pomegranate liqueur fares over time, right? Because this is, this was my first time making pomegranate liqueur and fantastic. And I'm curious to see how it holds out over a long period of time, right? Like the cherry liqueur or lemon liqueur. If the, you know, the fruit, the seeds dissolve, if it holds out well over time, I'm just going to continue to add pomegranates to this possibly and more alcohol. I'll definitely be more adding more alcohol to this, to the big one anyway, as we drink the alcohol. But if the seeds aren't faring well, if they're breaking down or whatnot, I might just finish off this one. I might do one more refill if we end up drinking this whole thing. Who knows, right? If we have a party with friends, we might, right? I might add more vodka to it if the seeds are holding up okay if they're not what i'll end up doing is just making a brand new batch next year or later on this year um, maybe later on this year because i don't want to run out of this over the um, next year until the next pomegranate season starts right so i'll definitely be buying more pomegranates to fill this up with more seeds make sure there's enough seeds to you know allow the flavor to really filter into the into the vodka into the liquid right anyway that's about it that's what i wanted to show you guys that's sort of this area sort of a uh active area i sort of mix things up try new things out sample the liqueurs over time if they need more vodka i add more vodka if they need more sugar i add more sugar if they're not tasting if my taste buds don't like the flavor that they're getting i might you know put that one on hold and not make any more liqueur based on that fruit right and one more thing i wanted to tell you before we finish off this video is in the previous video i mentioned that you know i love blackberries as you know blackberry liqueur is absolutely amazing and one mistake i made was this I called this one here okay you won't remember this one it's very dark black liqueur I thought this was blackberry it's not blackberry as you recall there's a video put out where you know we're sitting out or sitting out in a patio uh, sort of telling you what life as a geophysicist was like because I lived uh, I did geophysics environmental mainly geophysics for about a year of my life right and what we did we set out sat outside in the patio and I sort of told you what a life as a geophysicist was like and we prepared elderberries to make liqueur so my mistake I thought this guy, and that's why labor, <laughs> labeling is super important, right? I thought this guy was blackberry liqueur because it's so dark and black. It's not blackberry liqueur. This guy is elderberry liqueur. The elderberries that we harvested, and in that video, the elderberries that you see me putting into the bowl, right? That's these guys here, okay? And it's crazy crazy strong i added more sugar to this i made a little note i made a little correction right crossed it out put elderberry so i added you know i made a little note here added sugar in 2018 okay and this one okay i'm just going to use another spoon elderberry has some uh elderberry has some amazing properties okay I can't even show you this is in a thing right take a look at that that's all you need for this just a little sip from a spoon to get the flavor and it's wow powerful very unique flavor I don't think I'm gonna make any more elderberry liqueur because this is gonna last us years decades 
and if you want let me show you what the seeds look like let me show you this as well bring out the big spoon don't want to contaminate this give it a little show you what the seeds look like the seeds look crazy they're like large caviar seeds okay let's make sure we're not spilling any take a look i'm gonna hold this under it that's what the elderberries look like okay phenomenal fantastic very unique very unique flavor and the elderberries if you eat them they're very strong as well okay and you don't want to eat from what I understand, you don't want to eat too many elderberries. Uh, the stems, I believe, are a little toxic, possibly. Okay, so this is minute amounts. Minute amounts is supposed to be very good for you. But anybody knows more about elderberries, you can correct us in the comments of this video. Okay, so that's about it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you end up making some amazing liqueur, some amazing food and enjoy them for years to come okay that's about it bye for now